On this edition of Hot or Not, we have a very special episode because we have a very special guest star. And I'm not talking about Paul, I'm talking about this. The brand's making new Porsche Cayman GT4. And this Porsche has a possibility of setting a track record. And that is coming up right now. So buried midships is the Carrera S engine. It's a 3.8 liter boxer that puts out 385 horsepower and 310 pound-foot of torque. Now this particular Cayman has a six-speed manual transmission and Paul calls this engine, well he calls it perfection. It powers the rear wheels and it should set a track record, we think. All right, we're gonna do a zero to 60 run in the Cayman GT4. So let's see how this thing does. I'm pretty excited about driving this car. And 5.17 seconds. A uh, little bit better, got a little bit of wheel spin, tiny bit of axle tramp, but that was a good launch. So I feel pretty solid about that zero to 60 run. So I'm thinking on this uh, hot lap, you can actually break into the 102s. Oh yeah, it will. All, All right. right. All right, go for it. Man. All right, thanks. Yeah. Now normally the Cayman GT4 comes with Cup 2s, but we've got Super Sports, which Tyler, the owner of this car, put on because they're better summer tires. And thank you, Tyler, for letting us test this car around the track. So. It may be a little chink in this car's armor because these aren't as sticky as the tires that it comes with, but it does have the optional ceramic brakes, which should make it a monster when it comes to stopping. Turns in really nice. A little bit of oversteer there. In a second, up over the crest. Wow, it's got tons of grip through here. Really cool to drive through. Nice brakes, ceramic brakes. Good feel, maybe a little more understeer than I'd like through there, but I really like the feel of the car the whole way through. We have picking up a little bit of understeer on the exit. On the brakes, turning in, very taut chassis, very stiffly sprung, nice little four-wheel drift through there. That was cool. I'm over here hard on the brakes again. Again, nice crisp turn in. Wish it had a bit more torque. Again, that's the altitude doing its thing. It kind of sucks the torque out of motors. And so you can feel like you want a little bit more power on the bottom end of the car. Really good through here on the power. Here we go. One last corner, turning it in. Really, really quick little car around here. Again, maybe a little too much understeer. That could be the Pilot Super Sports versus the Cup 2 tires. But uh, very, very good car. And, uh, you know, I'd say the car that felt the best was, of course, the track record holder, the 996 modified car uh, turbo and the M2 felt really really good around as well and they go about their laps in such different ways this is more of a corner carver and the M2 was really good mid corner had good grip same tire by the way that this is on but the M2 came off the turns a lot harder because of that turbocharged engine so this one makes all of its time you know going through the middle of the turns it's really fast there you said 102.5 right that's you what think, I, I thought it should be think, in that range. You think you got there? I think I did, yeah. Very close, 102.69. Okay, cool. So, so tell me about this car, how does it handle? It's uh, it's pretty amazing. Now the, the one thing about it is it's a little less grip than it would normally have. So it, it's it's got a, the engine and chassis and gearbox and brakes. It's like, wow, 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 yeah. <laughs> wow. It's an amazing thing to drive. Um, is it? better than a 911 that you've driven. If, you, if, if it were your money, would you rather have the 911 GT3 or the uh, Cayman GT4? That's that's a really hard question, yeah. and I, I would simply answer it by saying I have a manual gearbox here, so this wins. Yeah. So I would do a 911R over this, um, but this is an amazing little car, and man, does it feel like it's built out of a billet piece of, of steel. It's so solid. Now normally on a Hot or Not episode, I spend a week behind the wheel and of course Paul takes it around the track. But since this car is not ours and it belongs to Tyler, I didn't get a chance to spend a week behind the car. So it's all up to you, my man. Is this car hot or not? 
Well, <laughs> I don't think there's any doubt about that. I mean, it's, it's one of the, the most complete cars I've ever driven around this track as far as the whole package. Just an amazing car to drive. So it's, it's scalding hot. Well, there you have it, guys. Another episode of Hot or Not. And we have a scalding hot car. As nice. always, this is Roman and <laughs> this is Paul saying thanks for watching. And check out TFLcar.com for more news, views, and real world reviews. Uh, race car driver reviews. See you guys later next time. Bye. <laughs> You guys know what this is. It's the fastest golf built by Volkswagen. It's the Golf R. And coming up on this very special episode of Hot or Not, as always, Paul's going to take it around the track and set a 0 to 60 time. But since I've reviewed this car already, we're just going to let Paul do the work today. And that is coming up right now on the Fast Lane Car. You guys know what's under the hood. It's a 2-liter turbo, turbocharged to within an inch of its life because it puts out 292 horsepower and 280 pound-foot of torque. That's a lot of power out of a four-cylinder. <laughs>